Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to put the uh, the hand onto the control panel. So um, let's just begin. So we're going to copy one of these um, sliders here so make sure you're only copying um, the two boxes, the the uh, the X and the circle. Make sure you don't accidentally select two of them. So if you do, just hold down Alt and select the one to get rid of it, and then copy it. So I'm just going to hold down Shift and on the X axis, slide it over, and I'm going to slide it out of the way because uh, we can fix that later. So it's going to be a lot similar like we've done before. So um, I'm going to use the Reaction Manager. So, good animation, reaction manager, and turn on show selected with the circle selected, and add master, choose the circle, transform, FK sub control, position, and then we're going to add slave. Wait, no, no. First, we're going to change the uh, change the position to parent um, so from view to parent with the drop down box should be right beside the scale tool and you're going to want to make sure to change it to uh, to 2 or you could have it this way it's it's up to you so yeah so then we're going to add a slave and we're going to choose the first finger, so we should have the morpher now on the on on the finger. So choose that modified object, morpher, and the first one. Okay, and then we are going to change the uh, circle to minus two. If you if you exact same dimensions as I have, it should be right at the bottom, perfectly. And then we're going to add a net a create state, which is just a little button beside the create mode. Pretty much like a keyframe it from from that position to the other one, and then the value uh, change the second one in the state zero zero two uh, to a hundred. So when we slide this, it should change. So go back to two again, and we're going to. Add slave, choose the morpher again, modified object, morpher, and the second one. And then we're going to go at and put in zero, so it's the middle. And we're going to we're going to create state, and then change the second uh, box, which is box 54, to 100, and change the oops, change the other one from 50 back down to zero. Now I'm not 100% sure. There's probably a much easier way of doing this from it to be from A to B without it being linear to morphing slightly to the other one. But uh, if anyone knows how to do that, leave it in the comments. But um, so that's pretty much it for the fingers, really. We'll add a few more keyframes at one and and minus one because the plan is is that if you wanted it go from from it being fist, you'd with um with the line with the uh, the in and out trajectories um to choose the the one from A to B, so it would uh, instantly go from that. So you would keyframe it at with the with the um as it as a fist. And then you'd go frame the next frame, select them, and keyframe it again. But you're going to move it. Oh, oh. That's another thing you've got to do. Right, so you need to change it back to minus two, the circle, and create another state. And you're going to want to change. Uh, the f the um the second object, the one that was bending slightly, only to zero. 
and then I'll change it back to normal. So, like I was saying, if I can get it to change, is the plan is that from one frame to another it would go instantly to what it was. So if I wanted to make it minus two in one frame, just make it the next frame. So as you see it it's now pointing instantly. You don't even see the the uh, it's slightly morphing into it because it is after the, it's in the next frame, so there's nothing for it to morph into. So that's that's pretty much how to do that. If anyone knows a much more easy way so, so sliding it doesn't require it to look like it's morphing into something else then feel free to mention it in the comments so save time I've noticed that let's just move these down that instead of having to do the exact same process for all three of these all these four fingers um, I'm just gonna hold that shift and copy these over just in case it goes wrong and we're gonna delete these and what we're going to do is we're going to select the the finger and we're going to select the new slider we just made and we're just going to hold on shift and copy it over I'm going to copy it over a lot so that the X's don't intersect but we can fix that afterwards so just do that another four times and you'll notice that when you click on the circle and do that it will only do it for that finger which is definitely save time you don't have to do that for all of them, and all you need to do now is just reposition the fingers back to where they should have been. Which you can use the line tool, which is up here. Align it perfectly to the to the finger that hasn't been moved. Um, and you can use snap toggle like we did in the last one with vertex on. And we can just on the y axis slide it over. And it's perfectly back into position. Like you don't even need to use the align tool. Well, actually, yeah, you do. So just align tool. Whoops, not there. Align tool. Slide it over, and that's pretty much it. So just do that. Same with the the uh, thumb as well. Slide it over, and then we just got to move these over. So, selecting those, you might want to make them a different color or something to make them stand out. You could put them name or something. Uh, I'm just gonna move mine up here. So that's pretty much it. I definitely recommend naming these unless you've memorized it. Of course we can hide all these I keys, so just to select them all by holding down control and select them. My selection and and we've got the we'll, we'll go into this now um, let's just quickly check that actually oh did I not copy I, it. I did not copy the second box well it shouldn't really matter much but if try not to do that but anyway um so let's just check if it works so that one could change by itself. Make sure. Scrap that. Yep, that one. That's fun. Yep. So yeah, those work. So you should do is going to manage layers. So it's the little the third one over from this down box here. And we're going to create one for the for the um, 
control panel. So just to create a new layer, we're gonna I'm gonna call it control panel. Um, and make sure that ticks back on default because everything you make now will be in that control panel mode, which we don't want. So um, now select everything except all the circles because we want to be able to use the circles during an animation. So select all those and with the with the plus sign add them. And now what you can do is just simply press this and it will freeze them. Very simple. You can even hide them if you want. Makes it a lot easier. I'd also recommend make one just for the entire rig as well. Make it much easier. For it, I'd have one definitely for for all the fingers. You can do those ones at the back there. Um, do one for the head as well. So what I do is select all the extra heads I've got here. Uh, group them. Um, morph heads or something like that. Maybe villager morph heads depends how much you bring it in. This thing. Uh, and uh, make another one add up same more for objects. I believe this should not affect the morpher. Right, nope. So grouping them won't affect it. Attaching them to all will though, so don't 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 attach them. So do again with the mouse, select all those. We're just going to make this a bit more organized. Uh, group them. Villager, morph, mouth, and add them. Make sure the tick is not on that. So if we were to hide those, let's hide. Do the same with the fingers. Group, villager, morph, fingers, add them. And this will just make a lot more organized because you have to unhide things so yeah make make one for the, the entire rig as well this is including the rest of the body I haven't shown you how to do the other the other arm and the other leg because kinda obvious I mean I don't need to be repeating exactly what I had said in the uh, first video and you can always replay that if you need to do the other one so that's pretty much it. So just select everything for the rig itself and create another layer called villager rig or something like that. Put back on tick and then add there. You can hide that, you can hide those without it being a problem. You can freeze that. Oh, I forget to put those in. And freeze those. So now you can just Tick those. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, might make one for the for the UV mapping, but it's exactly the same as the head, so I don't think I really need to do that. But if you want me to do one for the UV mapping, even though I've done at least five of them for each one of the for the uh, other ones. I'll leave a. Uh, a skin texture that's similar to um, a villager um, in the uh, description, but uh, leave in the comments if you want me to do one for the for the UV mapping. But really, I've I've done loads of those. And I'd only really be repeating myself. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you if you've got a problem, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll try and help you. Uh, if you've got an idea for another tutorial, um, I'll probably do one for the Enderman soon so um if you've got any ideas leave them in the comments um if you didn't like the video dislike it if you like the video subscribe like it share it so uh goodbye